Welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. It's How Spiders Saved Valentine's Day by Robert Krauss. It was Valentine's Day and I was hurrying to school. I stopped at the store and bought a bag of Valentine candy and the last two Valentines on the counter. I love you. Let's be friends. I got to school just as the last bell rang and put my Valentines in the Valentine box. One for Ladybug and one for Fly. At recess, I shared my Valentine candy with Fly and Ladybug. Ladybug chose a heart that said, kiss me, and I really would have liked to. Greedy Fly took two hearts. One said, far out, and the other said, cool. I sure am, said Fly. I wondered if I should share the candy with the two caterpillars who sat in the back. They were always so hungry, and I had forgotten to get them valentines. They're asleep, said Ladybug. They're always asleep, said Fly. Sure enough, the two hungry caterpillars were sleeping soundly with their big fur coats pulled over their heads. They just eat and sleep said Fly. Lazy bugs. Then the recess bell rang and we all hurried back to the classroom to get our valentines. Miss Quito, our teacher, reached in the valentine box and passed out the valentines. I got one from Ladybug, one from Fly, and one from each of the hungry caterpillars who sat in the back. Be my valentine, heart ladybug. Hello, your friend fly. You're a sweet heart from caterpillar one. Valentine greetings from caterpillar two. Fly got one valentine from me. Let's be friends from spider. One from ladybug and one from each of the hungry caterpillars who sat in the back. Be my Valentine from Ladybug. Happy Valentine's Day, Caterpillar 1. You go to my heart, Caterpillar 2. Ladybug got one Valentine from me. I love you, Spider. One from Fly and one from each of the hungry caterpillars who sat in the back. I love you truly from Fly. You're a love bug, Caterpillar 1. Be mine, from Caterpillar 2. All the Valentines were passed out, and nobody had gotten a Valentine for the two Caterpillars who sat in the back. It was pathetic. They had been sleeping so much. We forgot they were there. But they were there, and it was too late to get them a valentine now. Or was it? The two caterpillars were still sound asleep. Then I got an idea. I took my candy hearts and pasted them all over Fly. Then I borrowed Ladybug's lipstick and lipsticked myself all over. I sucked in my breath until I looked like a heart. What about me? asked Ladybug. You're so pretty. You're a valentine just as you are, I said. Now everybody jump into the valentine box. Miss Quito put the lid on the box Hey, I can't breathe, shouted Fly. Then Miss Quito took the lid off the box and we all leaped out shouting, Happy Valentine's Day, hungry caterpillars! They woke up. 
but would you believe it? They weren't caterpillars anymore. They were beautiful butterflies. They thanked us for our valentines, and we thanked them for theirs. Even Fly was nice. Miss Quito played I Love You Truly on the piano, and we all sang. You've done it again, Spider, said Ladybug. Done what? grumbled Fly. Saved, said Miss Quinto. Valentine's Day, said the two butterflies who sat in the back. And I guess I had. I was very happy. The end. I hope you enjoyed how spiders save Valentine's Day. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Learn with me, Mrs. Sullivan.